Uh, and frankly, as long as Ukraine continues to fight as resolutely, uh, as capably, uh, as resourcefully, because they've been truly creative in how they use the different weapon systems and tools and so forth that they have been provided. Uh, and with just sheer determination and really quite expert generation of additional forces and capabilities and organizations, as long as they continue that, I think the world will continue to stand with them. Uh, my hope is that at some point, Russia will realize that the only path out from underneath the financial and economic and personal sanctions and export controls uh, is to bring this war to a halt, uh, something that could be accelerated by the Ukrainians achieving a breakthrough somewhere on the battlefield, uh, especially as they are ever more effectively and expertly using the longer range precise munitions being provided for the multiple launch rocket systems and the 155 millimeter howitzers uh, and also, uh, as they find new ways of uh, attacking Russian assets and bases, as is the case literally right now, uh, with the attacks that they have carried out on the very important Russian air base in Crimea on the west coast of the Crimean Peninsula. Well, victory really, at the end of the day, depends on what the Ukrainians define it as being. Uh, and if you remember right before the unprovoked Russian invasion, President Zelensky seemed willing to concede in negotiations, for example, some arrangement that would allow Russia to continue to occupy Crimea, perhaps renting it to Russia for a ruble a century or something like that, it appeared willing to accept Russian supported separatists still controlling that portion of. Donetsk and Luhansk oblasts, the so-called Donbass, uh, that they controlled. I, what we don't know now is what would now be acceptable really to the Ukrainian people, because President Zelensky has stated that he would put whatever agreement is achieved to a referendum uh, for the Russian people, for to a referendum for the Ukrainian people. I'd, I've been to, to Ukraine. Uh, after President Zelensky was elected, went to the Donbass, went to different locations, talked to soldiers and leaders and all the way up to the Ministry of Defense. And I recognized true transformation of the Ukrainian forces uh, since the experience of Crimea uh, and the Donbass. Uh, and that, again, informed me that if they used the urban areas in particular effectively, they could deny the Russians their main objective, which of course was to take Kyiv, topple the government and replace President Zelensky with a pro-Russian figure. Of course, the, the Ukrainians have dramatically outperformed, I think, uh, what most expected. And in, 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 in the regard of being able to take equipment they've never operated before, that is very complex, learning how to use it very quickly, incredible uh, assiduous trainers, uh, not even wanting to take coffee breaks or lunch breaks because they want to get back to the front. Uh, and then employing all of this increasingly uh, expertly and capably uh, has been really very impressive. Um, now it's really about which side can generate forces that are capable uh, and well organized and effective. And in that regard, I think that Ukraine, with our continued support, uh, is going to prevail, and that could enable them to prevail on at least parts, significant parts of the battlefield uh, in the months that lie ahead.